Hi and welcome back to the channel. Yep, I understand that it's been quite a while because I've been busy with other stuff. Okay, so um, in Kofax RPA version 11 release, uh, there's a huge revamp for the caplets. And right now, caplets are totally out of, not part of management console anymore. So you realize this when you first uh, install Kofax RPA 11 and branch management console, you realize that the tab for caplets is now missing. Okay, but not to worry, uh, you can still access the old caplets by simply going to the link and typing in cat zone right at the end of the URL and it will still bring you back to the old caplets that you have been using. Okay, so not to worry about that. Uh, once you have installed the new Confex RPA caplets, then you can sl slowly migrate over all your caplets over there. Okay, so um, now in this video, I'm going to show you guys how do you install caplets on Tomcat. Uh, but first of all, you need to have Tomcat with Management Console integrated. So if you uh, need a guide on how to do that, I have linked it inside the video description below. Okay, so let's move on to the installation for that. You need to get the Tomcat and Management Console installation done before you can proceed on with the Caplets one. Okay, so now we are looking at the database server. In my case, I'm looking at MySQL. I want to create another separate schema for Caplets. So right now I'm going to do that. I'm going to create a schema and I'm going to name it Caplets. Okay, note this uh, exact name down. You'll be using it later. Okay, so you can see that the schema Caplets has been created. Okay, so that's all you need to configure on your database server. So now I'm looking at my management console. I will stop the Tomcat service first. Okay, and I will go to the Kofax RPA installation directory, look under web apps and search for caplets.war file. So similarly to the management console one, you want to copy this. I press Ctrl C, I go to my Apache Tomcat directory under web apps. I'm going to paste the caplets.war file over here. So again, once you start the Tomcat service back, it will expand this WAR file and you will create the folder caplets all together. So similarly, you need to go to the config Catalina localhost directory and create an XML file over there. Okay, so again, you can refer for the template over at the installation guide that I pull out over here. Okay, this is the Kofax RPA installation guide. Um, if you look at page 41, you have the uh, Tomcat server installation uh, guide over here and you have the template file over here. Okay, I'm go just going to do a Ctrl C, Ctrl V over. So this is the first part. Okay, let me copy the remaining over. Okay. So this is the entire template of how it should look like. There are a few things to change uh, similarly, those parameters. So this username and password over here is the one that you need to connect to your database. So this is your database credential. Okay, then below is your JDBC uh, database statement. So you want to change the IP address to the IP address of your database server. 33 and don't forget the port number 3306 and following is this will be the schema so just make sure it matches with what you have named just now okay and I will just uh, make this format nicer easier for me easier for my viewing <laughs> okay so over here you can see this is the IP address for a management console. Okay, in my case, this is localhost, and again, don't forget the port number 8080. Okay, following which will be your username and password for your management console. So, for my case, I didn't change, it's still the default admin admin. So, if you have changed, then you make sure you amend the value accordingly. So let me just glance through and make sure that everything is okay before I save the file. Okay, make sure there is no unnecessary spaces inside this document. 
Okay, once done, click save as caplets.xml. Let me close this and just remove this. Okay, so once done, you can start the service back. So as I mentioned, once you start the service, you look at the web apps folder, the caplets.wall file will be expanded into a folder over here. So good thing you don't need to configure anything here. Okay, so let me go to the browser and log in to my management console first. Of course, um, unlike the previous caplets version where you totally don't need any sort of installation, uh, this you need to do a little bit of configuration to make sure that it works. Of course, I will very much hope that it can be as per last time where <laughs> administrator don't need to do any sort of installation and configuration. Okay, let me just log in. Okay, to access the new caplets, it's localhost port 8080 slash caplets. Okay, and there you go. There you have the, this is the new revamp caplets of how it looks like. Okay, um, quite different from how it used to. So the good thing about this new caplets is, uh, first of all, it has a brand new look and most importantly, it has the mobile integrated capability. So you can also run this on mobile phones and kind of have RP on the go. So that is really very nice. All right, so um, that's all for this video to show the installation of how do you configure um, the new Corpex RPA Caplets version 11 together with Tomcat. So if, however, if you are not using Tomcat, it will be another separate way of installation. So if you want, you can still refer back to the installation guide and it will show you the other installation um, ways for other configuration that you have so for example you're running on just embedded mode for development environment for example you can refer to these steps over here and if you're running on docker it also has the steps for to run on the docker all right so that's all for this video sorry so that's all for this video if you still have any questions regarding this uh, setup configuration feel free to drop in the comment section below and i will um, try to answer you as much as possible Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.